What's up everybody, welcome back to the Burnout Vibe YouTube channel. This video is going to be different from other videos. I'm going to be working on the Honda Spree, which is behind me here. This video is going to be the first one I've ever done of this. It's going to be a complete start to finish in one video. So it's going to be the entire build. It's going to be all time lapse basically. And you're just going to see from tear down to fab up with the mount to reassembly, wiring it up and painting the bike all in one up until the finished project. So it's gonna be a long video for me to shoot. It's not all gonna happen in one day, it's probably gonna be multiple weeks. Um, but while the ruckus is still on standby waiting for parts, I need to produce content. With that, I'm gonna start working on this spree and just get this going. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Help me out below there. I am on the quest right now for, for 10,000. After 10,000, of course, it's gonna be like 50,000. After 50,000, 100,000. My goal is with doing these different bikes, these different builds, I'll help get that. I'll just go over the spree briefly so you guys can just see where it's at, like what it is, and what my intentions are for. So, here's the spree here. It's a late 80s spree, I think like an 86. Yeah, I think it's like an 86 spree. So right now I'm just going to be stripping the plastics off, basically taking from this half of the plastic off and then removing the motor and then I'm going to bring the GY6 over and line it up, get it straight as possible and then start cutting and welding a mount for it and see how I can do with that and then after that a shock arm. And then these plastics right here are going to go to the trash because the previous, somewhere in the chain of owners had cut that out for the aftermarket carburetor. Since I'm not using any of that, I do have about three sets of spare plastic, so I'll just be putting one of those on, and then there's gonna be the full prep, like sanding, um, filling, and getting it all nice and smooth. This isn't gonna be a perfect paint job because I have something different in mind for this paint job. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I've seen it on a lot of cars, and it's kind of a new trend. So I'm gonna try to jump on it with the scooter. But. I'm going to put it to the time lapse and we're just going to go ahead and start tearing this down. So, I know I said I was going to try to put this in one video, this is way too much recording. It's probably been about three weeks now that I've been recording this, so I want to get some new content out. Spree's behind me, you saw a bunch of time lapses, I'm going to show you currently where we're at with it. I'm trying to get this done for first ride in Orlando, I want to be able to take this to the ride. So we'll go ahead and bring you around to where I'm at, give you, give you a heads up. Alright, this is where we're at. I have the GY6 wheels on there. Painted gloss black. Got some Kenda tires on there. Or I'm sorry, V rubber. 150 motor. Have the Oco 30 mil on there. The clocking flange. Intake manifold there. Your basic setup. Did this bracing for the motor mount and then also structurally to be able to take this without tackling the frame. Did some bracing there. Then you can kind of, it's hard to see. 
see if we get a better angle here. All these little dots spot welded the frame going down. Bert helped me out with that. And then sanded the whole frame down, wrinkle coated it. This is the Ruckus Triple Tree. I have to just notch the top of this off because it hits there. So I, cause it cuts my turning radius down pretty pretty tightly. Have that. I have the PSP forks on there. Have the GS6 front wheel doing disc brake with that. I just have to work on the spacing next. Cut the Ruckus handlebar, the base of it off. One of you guys were able to give me one. And then after I cut that off, I welded it to the spring handlebar and trimmed that down. Had Bert help me with that. So that this fits on the Ruckus thing. Triple tree. You have to have a riser so that you can still catch the threads. So I had to make a couple adapters. I had to get um, some, I think I had to get a race or two from Elite and then use the Ruckus one. It was this whole thread about it on the spree pages. But that's currently where I'm at. I have about one more week to get this thing wrapped up. The plastics are already trimmed. I've sanded them all down. So next up, I'm gonna wet sand it, clean it up a little bit more, and then get ready for primer and paint. So it's getting close. We're, we're almost there. It's been a long three weeks. I'm gonna close the video off here. Next video, I'm going to paint it, get the bike ready to go, and then get this thing rolling. So that's the plan, hopefully, for this weekend. Also, I know it's tax season. Y'all are getting some money back. If you want to spend some money on ruckus parts, I have a coupon code, BURNOUTBOBBY, all lowercase. Enter it in at checkout. I got you 10% off. You can thank me later. Thank me in the comments. Again, it's BURNOUTBOBBY, all lowercase. It'll take 10% off your order. This is only good till April 1st. 2023 so go ahead and thread it in get the parts you need even if it's just a fuel pump t-shirt load up take advantage of the 10% off I'll see you guys on the next one as always like share subscribe and tune into my lives I do a live every other Friday now on YouTube I give away free stuff who doesn't want free stuff